Hello guys and welcome back to another Train Sim World 2 video. Today we are doing another Rush Hour Passengers video and today we are on the East Coast way because yes, today brings the patch notes update the 27th of October 2021 which brings with it a few fixes and Rush Hour Passengers on the East Coast way. So without further ado, we're going to do two Lima 50 Brighton to lose uh, full car service. So uh, let's begin. So yeah, we're on the class 377, the old one of course, not the Brighton mainline one. And guess what guys, we have rush hour passengers, just like on the Bakerloo line and the Schnaufast Trekker. Let's take a look. Actually, we'll take a look ourselves. Passengers? Oh yes, we have a few. Oh, hello, we do have a good few passengers. Ooh, ooh. Oh, already my game is lagging when it shouldn't be. Oh, look at this. Oh, just one seat. I, th I think I can... Can I not sit down? Can I, can I not fill in the final seat? Oh, what a shame. Okay, <laughs> well. Let's take more of a look. Yeah, we've got ourselves a, a, fair, a fair few passengers. More than, more than usual, obviously, because rush hour. Um, yeah, we're at the end of the train now. Let's run back. So yeah, this is the beautiful Brighton station on the East Coast Way. And uh, we're going to Lutz. Damn, that's a, that's a lot of a lot of passengers, guys. So let's get back in. And yeah. Not many passengers getting out though. Only pa only passengers on trains, which is a bit uh, weird. <laughs> but anyways, doesn't matter, does it? Shut the doors. Not too long till we need to go. And then our next and our ne our first stop should be London Road. I think here the speed set adjust is, is perfect. So yeah, looking at the rush hour passengers once again. This is our third video on these rush hour passengers. You see the others were on the Bakerloo line and the now fast track occur. Looks looks great, doesn't it? Brings a sense of reality. <laughs> okay, so obviously the Brighton Main Line, London commuter route, will take you over here. This is Lovers Walk, and we are obviously going on this coastway, which is obviously to the right. Driving 377 426 today. And this is London Road Viaduct, one of the most beautiful points of interest in Transim World 2. Here's our first stop of the day it's London Road. Now, are we going to see passengers getting on and off? Oh, we don't have many. We already don't have many at uh, at London Road. Are we going to see passengers getting on and off? We are. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Look at this. Yo, London Road, guys. Oh.
Nice, nice. Still got passengers. There's almost no one on board now. <laughs> London Road. I don't know. It could get this busy. Oh, I can't walk. <laughs> that is insane, guys. Now I'm going to look at this. Yo, look at that. I'm going to take a screenshot of that. That is really, really nice. And another one, of course, because I like taking screenshots, as you can tell. Shut the door. Cruise control up to 55, of course. There we are. And our next stop is Moscow. Obviously, this train has old AP sounds. Obviously, this is. East Coast away came from Trent Simul 2020, um, part of the preserved collection. Yeah, we got we got a few rush hour passengers on board. Just passenger frequency isn't as much after that London Road stop. Hopefully we can we can get a few at Moscow. Driving a four-car service and not a and not an eight-car service. Therefore, the stop marker will be much earlier than it would be. Also, not to mention the uh, passenger information boards that was obviously done over the over the summer. Well done, dovetail. Any people on board? Uh, yeah, we still we still got we've still got more passengers than than usually. This is the uh, PIS, Passenger Information System. Calling out Palmer and Lewis. Cool. Yeah, we got, I think we've got more passengers. It's only just half past five. People getting home from work, school run, you get the idea. But, um, wow, we've got, we've got a deserted train now. These two, two plus three seats were filled up down at Brighton, but not anymore. Nice. Let's, go, let's close these doors. Always sound the signal. It acts like the guard buzzer. Speed limit now 70 miles an hour. Obviously, top speed on the entire of the East Coastway is 90 miles an hour, and it's between around here and here. I believe if you draw lines from here to here to about here, you can go 90 miles an hour. Down here, you unfortunately can't. You can only go up to 70 or 60. I forgot now. I haven't been on the Seaford branch for a while. Next station, Volma. Okay, just 
just going to be careful of that speed limit. to foam and out. There we are, entering the station a good pace. Another train here. Obviously, the rush hour passenger system update was included on the rush hour on the not rush hour on the roadmap, transit world roadmap. Um, so you know, it was always inevitable that we're going to get this. Open the doors. Are we going to get as many passengers? Maybe on this train? Do we have any passengers on this train? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, hang on. We've got, we've got many. We've got a few people getting on. That's what we'd love to see. Yes. Not many people here, though. That guy's off. And we'll be off soon. Oh, let's lock the doors. the guard buzzer or the signal bell and then time to make that long journey down to lose yeah. <laughs> literally like three or four passengers per carriage now not many oh, we've got a couple in first class Got a couple of here. Actually, this, this isn't too bad. Well done, passengers. <laughs> you are riding the service. Well, actually, to be fair, it's just a short shuttle. Where's the Amex Stadium? Here it is. That's the Amex Stadium where Brighton and Hove Albion play. Football team, of course. Okie doke. Time to go to 70 miles now. And it's um, it's downhill all the way to Lewis, so I, I, I need to be careful. So yeah, hopefully all all of you are doing well. Hopefully you're enjoying this rush hour content. If you are, please make sure to like and subscribe. And hopefully you're, you're most of you, if you go to school, um, are having a, a good half time. Anyway, back to the point. Not too long now till our destination, our final destination, Lewis. Guys, I'm actually thinking of creating a Discord server for the channel. If you'd like to see a Discord server, please do comment down below. You know, Discord server just to hang out, chat, talk about stuff. If you'd like to see that, just let me know. It's not a very good day, is it? It's, um... Wow, where are the clouds? I, I, I... Actually, to be fair, I don't even know how to describe this this day. It's um, it's grey, but where's the sky? The sky isn't grey. Is that the moon? Yeah, that, uh, that looks like the moon. But yeah, this is um, this is you know sort of East Sussex countryside. Obviously, at Lewis, you have this piece of railway here that um that services those services come from of course in Victoria or well, they come they divert at Wivelsfield 
they come down to this and some of them go to Ore, so they go to Eastbourne, go back up again. Some of them go to Seaford. So yeah. Just need to make sure that I'm not speeding and that I'm obeying all speed limits. For example, there's a 55 miles an hour speed limit approaching me. Well, we're approaching it actually. Oh, 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 AWS. What's going on? Oh, that's why. That's why. That's just temporary, guys, don't worry. That's just reminding me of that um, 10 mile an hour speed limit that will shortly be coming up to. I'm just letting the cruise control down to 10 so um, we're you know in ready in time for that speed limit. Yeah this is just the Lewis shuttle, Lewis to Brighton shuttle or Brighton to Lewis shuttle. So obviously not many passengers. We wouldn't be seeing many passengers on board. That's not a problem. Hello. Got ourselves that train that was uh, leaving. Uh, that was leaving this. And as you can see, we are going to the right. being a bit cautious. I mean, not that anything's going to happen, of course, but... I'm just going to keep it like that. Cruise control's not going to let me down, is it? <laughs> As you can see, the pantograph, this train, that has had its pantograph removed as you can see it's not there so only DC I don't know if it's like that in real life I know some 3.7s have pantograph obviously the Milton Keynes um, trains obviously because they run on the west coast main line partially <laughs> okay um, this is uh, Lewis platform I believe 5? 6? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this platform five. This is where the train terminates and it is gonna go back to Brighton momentarily. Let's see if I can get myself a perfect basically when you see two yards. Okay, that was, that was alright. Was that was that alright? Forecast up, yeah it was. Let's open the doors, let all passengers out. Oh nice. Oh yes, not too much this time, but we've got a good view. Thanks for travelling on board this southern service. We wish you a pleasant onward journey. Good oak. Yeah, but rush our passengers, guys. That is it. That is pretty much it. I'm just um, shut down everything. Well, let me. Just, okay. Well, it's not going to give me time to. Okay, so um. It took us 18 uh, and three quarter minutes to travel eight miles from Brighton to Lewis. Stopping at London Road, Mosgrave Farm and Lewis. My best station stopping accuracy was Lewis. A, perf a near perfect. Look how close that was. But yeah, um, guys, thanks very much for watching. Obviously, this, uh, this is part three. Part one was Chanel Fast Drecker. Part two was Bakerloo Line of the Rush Hour Passenger videos. But this is part three. So hopefully you're enjoying it. If you are, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you more for some Trains in World 2 rush out action. Or just not general Trains in World action. So thanks all for watching guys. Like and subscribe. And bye bye for now.